you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. We're going to be doing a Belgian Christmas ale today in the form of Scaldus Noel. Um, not only a Belgian Christmas ale, um, a little bit of an aged one, too. Um, this was uh, left to me by my buddy Chuck after a bottle share this had and uh, figured I haven't reviewed Scaldus Noel. I like it. I'm a fan of it. I haven't reviewed it yet. And I look in the back, and here it has a date of August 14th, 2015, which, yeah, that means it's uh, almost four, four and a half, five, four and a half years old, which is kind of awesome. Especially being, one, it's a Belgian Christmas sale, which they typically age really well, and two, 12% alcohol, which means it definitely has enough uh, legs on it to age a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, super excited to give this a whirl. Um, not going to be really indicative of what this is like fresh but hey i like aged beer and i like talking about aged beer so there you go i'm gonna review it and uh what it says on the front of the bottle it says belgian ale or up top here the Busen anno 1769 i believe that's the brewery um down here we have belgian ale scaldus noel a product of belgium um 12 alcohol by volume uh let's see on the back it says brewed especially for the christmas period scaldus noel is a brilliant red amber ale that will delight the most demanding connoisseurs. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Like I said, bottled, I assume, is a best by date of August 14th, 2015. And this is just into January 2015. So you're talking about four and a half years old. Uh, label wise, it's awesome. It's cool. It's a quintessential Belgian Christmas ale y kind of label going on. Nice graphics to it. I dig it. So yeah, I'm a fan. Um, just a quick peek to see if this actually has a funk ring on it. It's the only thing that sucks about this when it has the labels up top. Can't really tell what's going on there. I'm not going to be able to peel it off anyway. So, anyway. Yeah, it's old. If you watch any of my other reviews, I usually give it a good tilt and look to see if there's a nice uh, ring of funk in there. To see uh, if it really has some decent age on it. But based off the date and the general five-year rule that you give Belgian ales it should be pretty old not much in there as far, as far as bottle conditioning goes yeah doesn't really have a too much of a haziness to it either so we'll see um as far as head goes I mean about finger and a half off-white head super creamy top color wise it's got some sediment going on in there. Um, not too much of it, but it has this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reddish, orangish, Belgian kind of doubleish color going on in there. Nice haziness, um, nice funkiness. Looks super, super delicious. A little bit of carbonation going on. It definitely has some sediment in there, but it's not too crazy. But I'm not put off by my sediment anyway. So there you go. See what the nose has to offer. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Rich Belgian style Christmas ale, more like double ish in nose. Nice Belgian yeastiness to it. Very bright uh, fruitiness to it. Not super dark fruits, more um, just a brighter fruit note. Zero hops whatsoever. Not too much in the Christmas nose either. Not like a lot of allspice or anything like that. But the Belgians really don't get too crazy with their spices, even their Christmas stuff. But yeah, it smells pretty freaking damn-tastic. Uh, let's see what she has to offer in the mouth. Cheers. Oh, it's delicious. Definitely taste the age there. And it's aged absolutely well. Zero oxidation whatsoever. Has that kind of a, that enhanced caramel sweetness, toffee sweetness that you typically expect from an aged beer. Um, and it just layered right on top of that nice, fluffy, Belgian, Christmassy, double-ish kind of mouthfeel. The dark fruits are there. A little bit of cherry. Um, a slight like um, 
slight alcohol to it. Not too much. You know what I mean? But just to let you know it's there. But for 12% and for being the kind of beer it is, it's pretty badass that you don't really see, notice too much going on there. Nice little dainty figginess to it. And almost like a, um, I want to say like a, um, like a, uh, a mix, almost like, a, and this sounds disgusting because most people don't like it, but like a, like a fruit log, like a, like a nice, um, a fruit bread, like a, almost like a raisin bread to it. Um, it's really nice. Really, really nice beer. Absolutely fantastic. The age has does this, done this wonder, wonders. They actually taste that age in there. It's kind of even mellowed everything out. But put that kind of nice toffee caramel, slight raisininess that age typically does to a higher ABV beer. Absolutely fantastic. Should have got one of these brand new just to do a side by side to see how it aged. But I didn't think of it and uh, got home and felt like cracking it. Absolutely beautiful beer, especially with this age on it. I've had it before multiple times. It's a beer I really like. It's not a beer that's ever blown me away. So for this to kind of tickle me pink like this probably says a lot about the age on it. But yeah, really nice beer. Um, super well balanced. Um, super nice creamy mouthfeel. Not dense, but nice creaminess to it. Um beautiful looking beer beautiful tasting beer in the age like i said just did it wonders so yeah this is absolutely a candidate for aging beers most most of your belgium based doubles quads and uh higher abv offerings um especially if they have a little bit of a bottle conditioning going on in it typically age quite well there's nothing like a five to ten year old quad um that has been cellared properly and this is kind of in that in that same vein I would highly recommend picking up a, you know, four case of this and throwing some aside uh, or just taking a four pack and throwing that aside um, and seeing how it sits for you because it just, age is quite nice. Uh, rating wise, it's kind of weird when you do the age stuff, but hey, got to rate it all. Rating wise, I give it like a 92. Yeah, it's just that nice of a beer. Age perfect. Has that little bit of tiniest bit of alcohol heat in a good way to let you know it's there. Like I said, not super spicy in the typical Christmas sense, but it's enough to let you know that it's an actual like Christmas beer. It's got that slightest, ever so slightest amount of kind of typical aging notes in it. And it's just an absolutely fantastic beer. I'm a big fan. Really big fan. So yeah. Um... Like I said, uh, low 90s overall, what did I say, 91, 92, 92? Um, value and availability. Scaldus, I mean, it, with the um, aging thing, I mean, it's kind of tough, but fresh, brand new. It's a seasonal thing, obviously, because it's a Christmas beer, Belgian Christmas beer, but Scaldus Noel I can typically get whenever I want it. So in Northeastern Pennsylvania, I give it availability of like a nine, uh, you know, a seasonally, of course. And uh, value, I think it's actually one of the lower um, cost uh, four packs, and usually talk about four packs. Four pack um, Belgian Christmas sales, and usually around the fifteen to sixteen dollar mark. If I could be wrong, could be wrong, but I think it's right around there. And if that's the case, it's pretty uh, badass value wise too. So yeah, Scaldus Noel with about five years on it, pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Nice little semi aged review. Uh, if you enjoyed the review, if you didn't, or somewhere in between, if you have any questions, please leave comments in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Untapped at Massive Beers, um, all four of those places. Probably most active on Instagram and Untapped, so if you're going to check us out anywhere, check us out there. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed a nice age beer like this one, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>